want to see is this reaction right here of calcium reacting with water. So the calcium here is what? A metal or an ion? It's a metal. It's an element. Right. Element. And over here it's a ion. Good. What is this? An element or an ion? Good. Element. Because all you see is hydrogen. Whenever you see hydrogen with something else, he's going to be an ion. Okay? <coughs> or at least have a partial charge. Like this ionic, this is not an ionic molecule. Water is a covalent molecule. But, at any rate, this guy is not the element. He is a compound now. And now we're going to go over and we're going to look at a piece of calcium here. Let's show it on the paper. Okay, you can see there is a piece of calcium. It's a little corroded, so it'll take a little while before it starts to react. And as it reacts, the reaction will go faster and faster. This is what I call a controlled reaction. Not quite as wild as what they were showing, but pretty good. Here you go. Do you see anything happening? Now, everywhere where you see the purple is where there are hydroxide ions. And as the purple spreads, the hydroxide ions are being tracked. Okay? So you can see how far away from the original piece. Can you see the bubbling? Yes. Ooh, oh man, this little guy is pretty... Uh... Ooh, did you hear that? Listen, carefully. Watch the flame in the video. See it popping? See? Oh, look at that. Okay. It, yeah. Okay, that's the hydrogen gas that's popping on us. Okay? And you can see that that stuff is spreading out everywhere. Okay? And, wow, that piece of calcium is all gone. But it's not gone. Where is it? It's in the water. Right. Okay. So, that was kind of cool. Now, let's go to the back and we'll take a little phenolphthalein with us. And, yes, thank you. That's the end of this recording.